Michelle, it would be nice to say that we had rain coming and cooler weather, but that's really not the case, is it? Yeah, unfortunately, just hot and dry conditions pretty much all week. It hasn't been too bad for visibility. Not that much haze in the sky uh, in here in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, but out at Sun Mountain Lodge out in the Metal Valley, a little bit hazier out there due to wildfire smoke out in British Columbia. Can't be uh, saying the same thing for Glacier National Park in northwest Montana. Lake McDonald, lots of blue skies there, so no issues with wildfire smoke. We're seeing some light haze out there in portions of north central Washington due to smoke. We could see a little bit of that haze spreading farther east into eastern Washington to North Idaho and Northwestern Montana tomorrow again just based on that wildfire smoke out in British Columbia. Right now we're sitting at 90 degrees at the Spokane Airport. Visibility is good though 10 miles. Winds are calm but it is very dry relative humidity at 17%. We did top out at 90 degrees today which makes it the 12th consecutive day of 90 degree heat. Thankfully far away from the record which was 101. We are looking at hot weather for the rest of the week. Could see some upper 90s but I don't think we'll be close to breaking any records this week. On Tuesday looking at highs in the upper 90s and then the potential for some thunderstorm activity Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Of course, we don't want the lightning. We don't want the winds associated with that. Any thunderstorm activity would likely come with very little to no rain. We will get a brief cool down on Thursday, which will give us one day this week where we probably won't make it to 90. We'll see highs in the upper 80s. Here's a look at the weather map right now. Upper level high pressure, the dominant weather feature. We are watching an area of low pressure out in the Pacific that's going to be sending energy our way Tuesday night into Wednesday, and that's going to be the focus for any um, isolated thunderstorm activity. But in the short term, looking for clear skies tonight, uh, looking at plenty of sunshine to start your Tuesday. That's going to help push those temperatures into the upper 90s. And we go to Tuesday night into Wednesday. You're starting to see some moisture coming up out of the south and southwest. This model not showing any precipitation, but again, we could still see some dry thunderstorms with the something we definitely don't want. For tonight, mostly clear skies down to 62. Winds should be relatively light out of the southeast. For tomorrow, sunny and hot southwesterly winds at a high of 97. There's a look at that extended forecast. Upper 90s on Tuesday will be in the 90s again on Wednesday, but should briefly cool down on Thursday with highs in the upper 80s. Then temperatures skyrocket, skyrocket back up for this upcoming weekend, where we'll be near 100 for Saturday and Sunday. Boy, you talk about those thunderstorms Tuesday night into Wednesday, and you said dry lightning, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we get a lot of rain with them as well. Yeah, That'd be nice. No thunderstorms at all. Okay, let's go that yeah. route. Thank you, Michelle.